NFTs have been described as one of the best ways for young people to make money in this era. But something no one ever seems to talk about is the massive amount of theft that goes on within this community. And the worst part is, the people promoting these scams were either a huge public figure or even a role model. Even though a lot of people promoted these scams, arguably no one has been as shameless or consistent as Soldier Boy. You may know Soldier as a rapper, but in the last few years, he's become a crypto show. Since his music career started to die down, he needed other ways to find money and this was the perfect way now in my opinion i don't think promoting crypto projects or nft projects is particularly unethical but you do need to do your due diligence to make sure you're not going to get your followers or fans scammed because during this era a lot of young kids would whip up a project and abandon it within five months which obviously leaves all these investors with a huge loss and none of their money back in total soldier boy has done around 73 post promos and 16 drops where he was an owner in the project himself and the only reason i'm even making this video is just because of how many many of these projects turned out to be scams. If they were legit and people didn't lose money for no reason or instantaneously due to a rug pull, I wouldn't be talking about it. On March 22nd, Soulja Boy was actually hit with a lawsuit due to his relationship with Safe Moon and all the promos he did for them. If you don't know already, Safe Moon was a pretty popular crypto coin that was created in March of 2021. A lot of the big celebrities and influencers online were promoting it, but it ended up actually getting rug pulled and customers lost upwards of $9 million. And as of right now, there's a big class action lawsuit going on against safe moon and a few of its promo people but soldier boy wasn't alone in promoting safe moon he had a lot of other high profile individuals with him to name a few jake paul lindsey lohan and austin mahone but there were even more these are just the ones named in this press release on top of promoting blatant scams soldier boy also failed to follow the ftc guidelines he didn't disclose that all of these promos were paid which is very illegal and for that reason he was named in that press release and lawsuit and will probably get hit with a pretty hefty Fine. And then in July of 2021, he was seen promoting a coin called Rap Doge. Not only did he once again clearly violate the FTC guidelines, but this project was rug pulled within just a few hours. And again, he wasn't alone. This time, next to him was Lil Yachty. And it's pretty clear to me that both of these guys don't really care that they're going to scam their fans. Because with a name like Rap Doge, there's no way they actually think this project is legit and going to be sustainable for a long period of time. These two next promos I'm about to bring up are honestly pretty gross in my opinion. One of the coins was known as Orion, and the other was the Life Token. In an effort to boost their coin price, the Life Token was claiming to donate a lot of their proceeds to a suicide prevention charity, and Orion was claiming to donate a lot of their proceeds to a childhood cancer charity. These fucking degenerates used cancer and suicide to sell their shitty fucking coin. This crypto era really brought out the worst in a lot of people, and I know a lot of companies use charities to boost their sales but the difference here is they use childhood cancer and suicide to promote a fucking rug pull and scam people and like every other coin i mentioned on this list as you can see by this graph after a few months the price dropped to the absolute bottom and everyone lost their money and then on may 26th of 2021 soldier boy did something i don't think anyone saw coming while promoting this new coin called safe for mars he actually leaked how much they were going to pay him for this tweet and that honestly just shows you how little effort went into this. He just copy and pasted his DM and didn't even bother to look at it twice before posting. And the tweet was actually up for over 30 minutes before he even realized what he did. Since then, the price of Safer Mars has dropped over 99%, which left a lot of people holding a bag and once again losing money. A few months later, on October 9th, 2021, he then made another tweet, but this time promoting a scam called Flokonomics. These people actually claimed that Elon Musk was the creator of this coin, and they even used paid media to get that message out there which is a huge copyright infringement so i don't know why anything hasn't happened to them yet and within a few months of that post flokonomics ended up deleting their entire website and getting rid of their twitter profile and as of today i cannot find any chart data for this coin which i'm assuming is because their trading volume is so low that it was taken off all of these exchanges so unfortunately we can't see the actual percentage lost and that's the case with a lot of these coins unfortunately it's been so long that people can't even see what happened and another promo that I want to mention is the one that Soldier did for Parrot DAO. The reason I want to talk about this is because they actually rug pulled in under 24 hours, which is very fast. And in their promo post, they actually said they were going to do a giveaway for $5,000 and that the winners would be announced in the next 48 hours. So not only did they rug pull for millions of dollars, but they also skimped out on that $5,000 giveaway. So technically, they actually just committed two crimes there, and yet they probably won't be punished for any of them. Like clockwork, Soldier deleted all the posts and all the evidence that he had 
at affiliating himself with this project, basically right after it got rugged. Now that we've talked about a few of Soldier's biggest rug pull promotion posts, let's talk about the projects that Soldier himself actually made and scammed his fans with. In just the year 2021, Soldier had around nine collections that were completely founded by him. One of them in particular was called Soldier Boy NFT, and they advertised a ton of different forms of utility, but yet to this day, the website is offline, and Soldier's completely abandoned the project. Something you should know about these crypto projects is that any type of project like this that's affiliated with crypto payments is completely unrefundable. Whenever a project is abandoned, no one that purchased is ever refunded, so the creator just gets to walk away with all of that money. And this year, in April of 2023, he dropped seven different NFTs. The first one he dropped was a 3D version of an NFT, and it had the Ferrari and Nike logo in it. Obviously, that heavily infringes on their copyrights, so within a few hours, this was a block from OpenSea for infringement. And as you can see, people in Discord are confirming that no one has been refunded to this day, and I can almost guarantee you no one will. And in most of these recent projects, they've all had some form of utility being advertised. One of them in particular was giving access to some type of DLC for his new video game he was creating. And the others were more basic. It ranged from signing the NFT or getting you into a future whitelist for other projects, or even exclusive music. And this may all sound great, but in the end, it didn't really matter because people were paying hundreds of dollars for these things, and they were supposed to be investments. But everyone involved just lost their money, and Soldier kept moving on to new projects to make more money. Reports have said that Soldier was charging anywhere from ten to twelve thousand dollars per post. So that means with the promo posts alone on his Twitter, we can confirm he's made at least seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars from these posts. And that's not counting any of the drops he made himself. He easily netted over a million dollars in this time. Me personally, I think that any level of fraud like this over a million dollars deserves some type of jail time. And the fact that his fine is only going to be around four hundred thousand dollars to the SEC for restitution is basically just an IRL money glitch. He made well over a million and is paying less than 40% of that and doesn't go to prison. So there's literally no reason for him to stop doing what he's doing. He's had no punishment and nothing's going to happen. If you guys are part of this NFT community, just make sure you're careful where you put your money and make sure you don't click any suspicious links. And huge shout out to Zach XBT on Twitter. He had a ton of information about this topic when I was going to try to make the video. I didn't see any reports that were as in-depth as his were. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you. Have a good one. Peace.